Yo, what's up guys, it's Elijah here, and today I'm just making a quick video. Um, some crazy shit happened, guys. I feel so much regret about changing my gender marker so early in my transition, and also the fact that I did it the wrong way. So if you haven't seen my old videos, um, oh, and by the way, I actually just recently put like a lot of my old videos public again, so they're not private anymore. Um, I don't know, I was just thinking like maybe it might help some people. I don't know, so I just put it out there. Um, anyways, I have an old video of where I talk about how I changed my gender marker, which I did it like a different way. Like normally when people talk about changing their gender marker on their ID, they, well normally it's like not just their ID. So I only changed my ID gender marker. Um, normally when people do it, they kind of change all their documents at the same time. And also, most of the time, they change their gender marker and also their name. So they change them both at the same time. They kind of pay the fee and then, like, everything's changed and everything's good to go. But with me, I kind of fucked up because, um, I wanted it to be the cheapest, fastest way, right? So, I was researching it and everything and it said, like, okay, just, like, go to your doctor and ask them to write you a letter or fill out like a certain type of form um, and then give that to the DMV and they'll like hook you up and they'll send you your new ID in the mail and exactly that happened. So it definitely is cheap and it's cheap and it's easy, yes, but it really fucked me up in the end. So pretty much, I mean, it only costs 50 bucks. Everything's good, you know what I mean? I'm thinking like I'm getting a good deal. Everything's good to go. Literally two years later, which is now, I'm kind of fucked because I mean, I don't really do too much with my um, birth certificate, but um, cause like I was thinking like, you know, I need like guard cards and stuff like that. Um, there's not really anything else that, in like jobs, they don't ask for my birth certificate. All they ask for is, you know, the usual social uh, driver's license, ID, whatever. Um, sometimes high school diploma or whatever, but like they don't be asking for, um, birth certificate which is literally the only thing that i have that has my gender on it um i do know that like social security cards they don't have the actual gender on the card or whatever <laughs> but um they do like in the system they have it as male or female whatever um and so pretty much i've been using just my social for everything uh, i never had a reason to use my birth certificate so just recently I got this new job um, and I, you know, this one I'm literally working now, which is not, I don't have to do much, but there's like another position during the, like on the weekdays that like you can like pick up shifts or whatever if you want to. So pretty much what I need for it is a Twit card. Um, so I got my guard card. So you need a Twit card and a guard card. This all doesn't matter, but pretty much all I needed was a Twit card. And it's like some shit having to do with like, um, like ports and stuff and keeping it secure and you need that Twit card. So I went to the, um, the place where like I get that. I had everything done. I did the test and all that shit. I just had to go to like this place. It's like the same place you go to get, um, pre-check for, uh, when you go on the airplane, that exact same place. So I went there and everything was easy. Everything was like, you know, smooth sailing until, um, so he asked for my ID and he asked for my birth certificate and I brought it, you know, I got everything, everything's good to go. And then like, he filled out all these forms on his little like laptop computer or whatever. And I'm sitting across from him, like just like feeling nervous because I just, I honestly thought it was just gonna be like an awkward interaction. Like, oh shit, like he's gonna see like one says male and one like my ID says male and then like my um, birth certificate says female. I mean, I thought it was just gonna be an awkward interaction. I didn't think anything of it. Like it would mean like I can't get it. So I ended up not being able to get my Twit card because of that, because I guess it seemed like a paper trail of like, how did I change it? How did I change my gender? Like I, it would have been okay if like I had some type of like document, like some type of paper that said, um, like the pretty much the paper I brought to the DMV, I should have kept that shit. I don't know why I didn't. So I feel hella stupid, but um, even then, I don't know if I would have been been able to get it. Um, so pretty much what he said was, you got to change the gender on your birth certificate. And I was like, fuck. Um, and I thought, you know, it's like, okay, whatever. That seemed like a long process. It's whatever. But the only thing is, now that I live in Oregon, you know, I was always living in California. And when I changed my gender marker, I was in Washington. 
I, you know, in Washington, I didn't know the laws or anything. It, it seemed pretty easy. Um, and just like California, changing your gender marker on your birth certificate, all you have to do is like go into, like walk into a courtroom and say, hey, like I wanna change this shit. Like here's why and here's some papers from my doctor. Pretty easy, straightforward. But with Oregon, and if you live here, you should know this shit. Um, I did not know this. You have to have had um, taken testosterone, with, which I've had, had which i have taken lol so i already took the testosterone that's one thing and then the second thing i had to have had is either top surgery or if i didn't take testosterone and i didn't have top surgery i had to have had bottom bottom surgery so it has to be like a full on like some type of surgery either way um and i was like god damn so i literally cannot change my gender marker on my birth certificate um and I'm pretty much fucked. Uh, it, I mean, with my job, and I'm going to tell you what happened with my job. So I pretty much, like I said, it's kind of like an extra shift, like pickup type of thing. I don't need that certification for my actual job because um, this is just fire watch. I'm just watching to see if there's a fire and shit. I, I told them, so I pretty much just told my boss, my supervisor, whatever he is. I think he's like the general manager and he literally works here. He works the grave shift. So literally after I left that place and they said that you can't get your toy card, I um, texted him. I was like, hey... Maybe I should, oh shit, I was about to say maybe I should literally say the text, but it's, I'm recording on my phone, so it's not gonna work out. Um, but pretty much I sent him a text. I asked my wife, like, what the fuck should I say? Um, Cause I was like really feeling like, oh my God, this is so awkward, I'm gonna have to tell him. And um, we came to the conclusion that like, we kind of have to, cause like, how else am I gonna explain why my gender markers are different on my ID and my birth certificate? So I sent him this long ass text and I said, hey man, like this is kind of awkward but I'm a transgender person I'm transgender um I didn't say like I was born female whatever I was just like I um I I had my ID doesn't match my um, birth certificate and he's seen my ID before so I'm sure he assumed like I knew it I knew you're trans he always had like this little I like told you in that one other video I feel like it's my last video um i just went like he kind of was like he didn't really exactly know what gender i was so yeah i uh told him um there's that whole little spiel about like how i'm trans and i um my birth certificate says female or whatever they don't match up and i said I, the and I, I didn't know exactly how to do it so i said i'm gonna work on getting that fixed and um i i should be able to get it at some point soon and so I did my research after I sent him that text and I found out what I just told you guys. I can't, you know, do it without surgery. When I seen him last night, I told him, I told him what's up, what happened, how, you know, what I researched and everything. Um, and I told him I can't get my toy card. And he said, I figured, it seemed as if he, uh, he looked it up before. He like was telling me all these laws in Oregon about trans people. He like knew like the whole fucking shit. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. He knows what's up and I don't have to explain like transgenderism, trans, 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 I can't even say it. Transgenderism is this and this is how I feel. I didn't have to say anything. All I said was I have to get surgeries in order to change my gender marker on my birth certificate. And he was like, I figured I already knew that because the laws here and everything. Um, and he said, he said, it's all good and there shouldn't really be any problem with it. Um, it's And it's fine. I just won't work that shift and um everything's good to go i mean it all worked out in the end but i'm just explaining this story because it's just such an inconvenience and i just really want to let you guys know just because i had no fucking clue that like i would i mean i'm surprised i haven't had anything happen like sooner that like would kind of like make me not be able to do something with because my birth certificate is like so important i would have thought that like something would have came up that i had to use it by now but it you know it just happened so late that i just never thought anything of it so but that definitely does tell me i need to change it soon which means i'll probably have to get surgery soon um so yeah that's some other shit um and yeah guys so when you transition in Oregon, um, specifically, uh, I would suggest, uh, don't, I mean, I guess you couldn't really be in my position unless you literally moved from Washington to Oregon. Just don't only change one document, um, when you change your gender marker, even if it saves money. Cause like, even this whole time I had my gender as male on my ID, 
it really didn't like help me out at all i think like maybe three jobs thought i was male just because they seen my id and that's what they like had it based off of um which is like cool uh but i i don't even think those jobs i kept for that long so it didn't really matter in the end and sometimes they see my id and they see the male but they still say um they still think i'm female so it doesn't fucking it, it doesn't matter at all um so yeah, I would say uh, just don't change only one document, but this really makes me think like I really want to get on changing my name and I really, really want to get top surgery so I can change my gender on my birth certificate. Like this is such an awkward experience. It was so awkward in that office when that guy said I cannot get it because my gender, he was like saying this whole thing. He had to like call his fucking boss and shit and he was like, yo, like, you know, I mean, he didn't say yo, but you know what I mean? He was like, hey, like, we got a transgender individual here. Like, he had no idea what to call me because when I came into the office, everybody was saying she, her, and ma'am, and all this shit. And I said nothing, you know, I didn't say anything to them um, until it came to that point. And it was just really, really fucking awkward. So, just to save awkwardness, guys, just change all your documents at once. Don't pull a me. Um, learn from me because, like, this is some really fucking stupid shit. I should have known this. But yeah, I don't really think that I have anything else to say. That's my little story. So have a good day and thanks for watching. Later.